Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to screen record with your iPad or your iPhone. It always seemed like it's very complicated to do this. Uh, you wish there was just an app you can go download in the App Store and start recording and it just seems like it's not that easy. Uh, iOS makes it very difficult to do that. Um, but this video will show you that it really is that easy. You just need one extra step to do it. Um, I'm recording this video with the app called Airshow. That's A-I-R-S-H-O-U. Um, I'm recording it in its highest resolution, which is 1080p. I'm also using the microphone on the iPad. This is iPad Mini 2. Um, I'm, I'm not adding any sound into this video uh, through editing. This is all going to be right off the iPad just to show you the quality of the sound and the video that you get with this app. Uh, 1080p is the highest resolution that it would record at, which is what we are doing now. Um, let's quickly get out here and get into it, and I'll show you how to make it work. <clears throat> Airshow is not in the iOS App Store. You have to go to, um, also, you don't have to jailbreak this to do this. It's very simple. Uh, no jailbreaking required. You do not have to pay for this app. It's a free app. Just have ads, of course, like every other app out there. Um... To do this, you have to get an uh, app store called App Valley. If you look to the bottom left of my screen, you'll see a blue icon that says App Valley. You have to have that first to make this, uh, to get this program. Uh, or at least that's one way that, to get it. But this is a very easy way to do it. So you go to Safari, the bottom of the screen right there, the Safari icon, click on it. I already have it pulled up here, but the address is just type into the search bar appvalley.vip. If you look to the top middle of the screen, you will see the address. It'll take you right to this page. And all you do is under the blue icon, you'll see it says install App Valley. You'll click install App Valley. And then uh, it'll be downloaded onto your iPad or iPhone. Uh, real quick before we get much further, I'm going to show you this is July 25th, 2017. Um, if you look in my settings here, you'll notice that my software update I'm at iOS 10.3.3 so it is working as of right now I know sometimes there's some different updates and then the apps sometimes have to be updated but this does work with the latest version of iOS right now okay so let's go back to where we were App Valley you see it's now on the bottom left of my screen when you initially open it it's gonna block it you know iOS is gonna give you a little thing saying this is not a verified app or verified producer or what, you know, whatever you want to call it, it's not going to let you open the app. To fix that, and Airshow may do the same thing. You just go to settings, go down to general settings. Let's see if we can find, if you look to the, almost to the bottom of the screen, it says device management. Right in there, it's not going to say exactly like this because mine's already been verified, but you'll just go into that little section. It'll have a little, you'll click on this, uh, you click on that little spot there and it'll have you a spot to verify the apps. Mine already verified, so I can't really show you exactly how it works, but it's it's that simple. You just click, push it, and it's, it's verified. You're, you're done. Um, you may have to do that with Airshow possibly too when you download it, but uh, then it will work fine. All right, so we have App Valley. We've, ver we've made it work, so now it's going to work for us. Let's open it up. Okay, open it up. In the very middle of the screen, you'll see one. They already got an advertise that are on there. You can just click to the middle right little X here and it'll get rid of it. Uh, to the bottom center of the screen, you'll see a folder that says a library. Click on this. The top left, you'll see a tan box that says Apps Browse. You want to browse your apps. And you'll scroll down. There's a bunch of apps in here. I've not went through them all yet. But uh, the one you're looking for is called Airshow. That's A I R S H O U. It is actually right in the middle of my screen right here. Um, what you'll do is you'll click on it and you'll push get. Uh, the screen right here is showing you is how you record. I can't go into this app this way because I'm using the app to make this video. But the bottom box right here says record. You'll click on that once you get the app opened and you'll go through the recording process that way. But anyway, so let's get this open up. We are recording. We've been recording for 40 minutes now. Uh, real quick, to get it to record, after you get to the recording screen, you'll have to pull this up off the bottom. Um, that's kind of a little trick if, you know, I, it's a little confusing, but that's how you get to record. You'll push the 
airplay mirroring right here and it doesn't show anything in here but because I'm already recording but if I was not recording it would show air show iPad you all you do is you'd push that and then as soon as it connected it would start recording your timer would start running but uh, very importantly like I said it just pulls up from the bottom of the screen it will not record until you push that airplay and click on air show iPad but I uh, hope this helps you out um, so far it's working very good for me and uh, we'll see what the quality looks like on the uh, once I get it uh, uploaded thank you